drawing one point perspective drawings. First of all, find the vanishing point. Draw a line up from stationary point to get vanishing point over there on the horizon line. I'm now going to drop all the information from this top view down so that it touches the ground line just by drawing construction lines coming down from all of the corners. And drawing lines across from the front view. You should find that you'll end up with your front view drawn in construction lines and it will look exactly the same as that. Right. Um, I'm just going to darken that in very, very slightly. It's still in construction lines. Don't draw it in very dark, just in construction lines because there's going to be certain aspects of it that are dark and other aspects that must be drawn um, further back in the drawing. Okay, we look first of all to see the lines on the front view of this. As soon as I see a line going across like that, it means that there is a break and whatever is above that um, is going to be drawn further back from the, um, from the view. So, let's have a look. All of this stuff over here is drawn right at the front. You can see those points over there. They are on the picture plane, so I can draw that in straight away down here. You'll note that I've left a gap over there, um, and, I'll, and you'll see why that is as we proceed through this drawing. Right, what I'm going to look at here is I've got this little scoop. All right, and that is moving back into the drawing. So let's try and find out where that little scoop is. I'm going to take lines from the corners of this little scoop going back to the vanishing point. I could take a line back from that one, but since I can't see it, I'm not going to bother. Right, once I've dot, got that, I need to find out how far back does that little scoop go. The way that we do that, we take lines coming from the back corners of that scoop. And there, going down to stationary point, crosses over the picture plane over there, and I'm going to drop down that point from the picture plane, which is where I'll be able to see it in my picture. There it is, and I can draw a line going back from that top corner. That corner has not only got one point on it, it's two points, one at the top, one at the bottom. So I've got one there, and straight down from there, I've got another corner. There we go. I can now draw a line going back from this corner to meet up there. Right. From there, I can draw a line going from my back corner over there down to stationary point and drop that down to that point over there and I should be able to link that up with a horizontal line going straight the way across over here giving me my little scoop shape. I've got two lines going into that corner missing a line that needs to go horizontal at the bottom there. Right, once I've got that I now look and see, okay it then goes back to this point over here. All right, so I'm going to draw a line going to the vanishing point. And on that point, I'm going to find this point. Right, so what am I going to do? I'm going to take a line coming down to the stationary point, crosses over the picture plane. I drop that down to that point over there. Now that point has a point above it as well. You can see it, there was the point that I found and I've got a point directly above it. So I can now draw in a line going straight up to the very top of it. How did I get that? 
Well, I've got a line traveling back from this corner over here. Line coming back from that corner at the very, very front, that corner in fact, taking that back, links up over there, and I've got that line. So I now have that part of the drawing. That then goes back to the very back corner. Let's find that very back corner. Take a line down to stationary point. Drop that down. And that will go all the way down, finding the back point at the top. I will also have a back point at the bottom. Let's find that back point at the bottom. Here's the bottom of the object. Take that up to vanishing point. And there's that back corner at the bottom. Let's draw that all in. Right, once I've got that, and I'll look at this and I say, all right, this thing then needs to go back to the vanishing point over there. And I can draw a line going out straight the way across from that back corner to the opposite back corner. If I wanted to, I could find that back corner. If I've drawn accurately, it should all work nicely. Take a line from that back corner down, touches the picture plane. I drop that down from there, and it meets up with that line over there, as you can see, with that line coming across. Right. That then comes forward to that point over there. So let's find that point, take a line down from the point, down to stationary point, cuts over picture plane, drops down vertically, cuts that line coming out there, and I can now draw in that point. Right, I know that I've got a line going back from this corner, so I take that line going back to vanishing point, and I drop a line down from that corner. I can now draw in a line coming from those two corners. Um, you'll see I've got two lines going to that corner. I need a third line coming out, um, and I'll see that that line actually goes back at a funny angle over here. Right, so I need to find this corner over here. How do I do that? I take a line going down to the stationary point. I drop that down onto that back line. You can see that at, at the back, at the back. So there's that corner over there. I'm now going to link that up there to there and from there to there. Um, I know that that line over there I basically have that traveling across at the back there. I'm going to draw a construction line coming across there, from there, and I can then drop a line down from that V shape down to that point, and I can join in that and that. And there is your drawing done. You just need to darken in that line. Don't forget that, and that's finished.